What's up everybody, it's your boy KC back with another FL Studio tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your sessions in FL Studio. I feel like it's very imperative to get your session set up correctly at the beginning so you're not trying to putz around and figure out what everything is later in the mix. You just want to be totally creative while you're mixing it. Make sure you're listening for the right things and not trying to figure out which sound is which and where the verses are and where the hooks are and whatnot. So I'm going to show you guys how to get that set up right off the bat so you can have a nice smooth, fast, nice easy workflow with your mixing. So after you get all your sounds, this is an old session I had of an old beat and I just imported the WAV file so it'll look like a horrible mess so we can make sense of it um, just like you guys should do at the beginning of all your sessions. Um, so once you get all your sounds in your pattern, you're going to want to go through and rename them. So I got mine with the BPM and everything. Basically this is a track out so everybody knows what the tempo is and what each instrument is. But I, if this was a mixing session, I'd go through and rename it so it made sense for me. So if you have a scroll mouse, all you need to do is click the scroll, and that's the shortcut for renaming things in FL Studio if you have a mouse. If you don't, all you need to do is right click it and click rename, and it's the same thing. So I'm going to name this kick, and then you just go through all your sounds and rename them. Also listen to the mix to get a feel for it, but that's later on in when you're actually getting technical, this is just a setup. But I'd be listening to the mix and figuring out what everything is too. So now I'm going to continue to edit this. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to rename everything quick just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me rename everything. So I'll be back in one minute. Alright guys, we're back. I got all my stuff renamed how I wanted it. And now the next step would be to move everything which makes sense to you. So like I said, I like to have my bass my drums, my music, and then my vocals. So I'm going to go through there and arrange it in that order too. So I already got my like, bass and kick up there. Um, one quick shortcut is if you're not using your keyboard as a MIDI controller like FL Studio allows you to do and you already have a MIDI controller set up, you can just use your regular keyboard as a shortcut keyboard like it's supposed to be. <laughs> and if you hit Alt and click on the selected sound and hit alt and do the um, directional pads up and down it'll actually move the sounds up and down for you so that's a little fast shortcut too um, so I'm just gonna go through and move all my sounds I'm actually gonna pause the video for this too because this might take a minute but basically to show you kind of how I do it Yeah, I'm gonna pause the video. This is gonna take a minute, but I'll be right. All right, guys, we're back again, and I have that set up now. That took about five minutes. I just didn't want you guys looking at me being all concentrated for five minutes straight to move everything up and down. But so basically, again, like I said, I got my bass up here, my drums all the way down, and I got my music. And then this is actually a beat with hooks, so I got my my vocals right here. And then I have my effects. I exported my effects because this was a tracked out beat and if they wanted the same reverbs and stuff on there that I put on the instruments they could have it too so I put that at the bottom um, so yeah after you do that then you would just go and recolor them too so I'll pick that the bass as a green I like my drums being red see in FL Studio it's a little time consuming this is Pro Tools I can just highlight all my drums and then change the color with one button but it, all the programs do the same thing so once this isn't kind of like directed towards mixing like Pro Tools is so I usually like to have my music light blue so I'll change that our vocals right here so I'm gonna put those as yellow and 
these are effects, so. Hmm. We'll do these purple. Alright, so now as you can see, everything is already looking more organized and more visually appealing to, to mix and tackle. Um, there's just one final step before I actually start getting into mixing and adding my markers. So now that I have it set up in my pattern, so if I ever had to, if this was like a project I produced and I have all the files here that I was, um, put that I had the drum loops in that I made, and you can see all the notes in the piano roll. I like to have it organized like this in here so it makes sense when I go to the pattern that I can, if I need to change like a drum sample or if I want to take out like a, a certain kick note that I can just come to it and I know exactly where it's at. So that's why I set it up in my pattern first. Since I have the WAV files on here, it kind of didn't really make sense, but I wanted to show you how I would normally do it if I was mixing in FL Studio. So now I have to translate this whole pattern into this on the playlist. Um, if you, again, if you have a mouse, it makes it a lot easier because all you need to do to move things up and down, all the tracks over here up and down on the side, um, all I need to do is so like I want to find my kick, wherever it is. Um, if you have a scroll mouse, if you hit Alt and Shift, then you can just scroll the thing all the way up or to wherever you want to move it. If you don't, then you still were just using your keyboard and you didn't have a mouse and you have a laptop you'd have to right click on all these and click move up which is that where it can get really time consuming but yeah so I'm gonna pause the video for this because I have to go through and organize move everything up and down and I'll be back with you in a sec alright we're back again and as you can tell this looks a lot better than when we first had it everything's named everything's color coded now I got my pattern matching exactly in the playlist now there's just a couple more steps that I'd go do to make it a little better too I just rename these tracks on the side so again if you have a scroll mouse if you actually no you don't need to do it for this I like to do this with this part if you right click it and do auto name it'll actually auto name it and color it right away for you So just in case, say you're not scrolled at the beginning, so say you scrolled in pretty far and you can't see the names, you have it on the side here. So again, you're not fumbling over your, your mix and all your stuff. Right there so as you see that didn't take too long either this whole setup probably took like 25 minutes but after you get it out the way like I said it's all creativity and go straight to work and be creative with all your music like it's supposed to be so one final thing I do is like I said I like to listen to the track and as I'm listening to it and renaming I like to put in the markers so how you do that the shortcut so hopefully you're not using your MIDI keyboard as your keyboard as a MIDI keyboard and you're using it as a shortcut um, the shortcut for adding markers is control T and it'll add markers here so you can go through and rename them so this could be um, where the verse starts verse one and I'll put markers there so now you're not fumbling over where the verses are and where the hooks are um, if you don't have a key if you're using your keyboard as a MIDI controller all you need to do is right click it and put add marker and you'll just have to name it there so yeah normally I would go through and list the song and put all my markers in where they need to be and basically that's all I do to set up um, one thing I would say to do is rename all your stuff um, in here first so when you do your link to channel like I showed you guys it'll rename it for you already in your, your mixer so you'll be saving your stuff a lot of times so you don't have to go and rename all these. Just do that. 
I'm going to put it all in there and it's all color coordinated too. So hopefully you guys found this video informational. Hopefully you guys do this so you make your workflow a lot faster. Once again, it's your boy KC. Go to the website, sign up for the newsletter. Everybody have a great day. Make good music and be easy.